Hi everyone, welcome to my video about outdoor insulation jackets. With it being winter and being cold outside, it's time to wrap up with your warmest jackets and stay loving the great outdoors. So I'm here today to run through briefly how insulation works and in cooperation with Regatta, have a talk through about all the insulation options available and which ones would suit you best. So first, what is insulation? Insulation is a material that is found between the inner fabric and the outer fabric. There are many different types of insulation used in the outdoor industry. This can range from man-made fibres and natural fibres. So how does insulation work? Insulation works by trapping the air between the fibres. Your body heat will then warm up the trapped air, which will keep you warm. So it is your body heat that is actually keeping you warm. So you want your insulation to be really fine, soft fibres, so it traps as much air as possible. Ideally, you want a lightweight, beaverable, comfortable insulation and Regatta has a range of different insulations to suit your outdoor needs. But there are so many, I'm going to ask my friend Matt Coleman, head about the product at Regatta to help us talk through the Regatta insulation range and the product so you can find the best one that suits you. So, let's introduce Matt. So, I've got Matt with me again. Thanks for coming, Matt. Pleasure as always. Okay, so for Autumn Winter 21, we've got five different insulations. So to start with, we've got at Thermoguard. Now this is a synthetic sheeted insulation and as with all the um, insulations I'm going to talk about today actually this keeps you wa warm even when it gets wet or, or you or the jacket get wet. Secondly, a step up from that is warm loft insulation. Now again synthetic insulation and sheeted but it's, it's much softer and it's really comfortable to, to wear. Then next along the line we've got Atom Light. Now Atom Light is essentially the same as Warm Loft, the same, um, the same material, but instead of it being in a sheeted form, all those fibres are taken apart and it's a collection of individual fibres. So as Harry uh, mentioned earlier on, it's, it's all about the trapping your body's um, warm air to keep you, to keep you warm. And the, the, the beauty of this is it's, it's more lofty because it's individual fibres. So with it being separate from a sheet, it works slightly better by trapping more air in it. Exactly, yeah. It traps more warm air so you can get, um, get a more lofty effect from a lighter weight of insulation. So you're get a, getting a better warmth to weight ratio. And that's what um, insulation is all about, getting the optimum warmth to weight ratio. So this is extremely warm and lofty and, and soft. But then to take that on to one step further, we've got our brand new technology for Autumn Winter 21. It's absolutely amazing. And this is called Feather Free. Now this is the closest you'll get to down without it actually being down. And we're moving away from having down in the range. Um, in the past, all of our down was ethically sourced, but just to remove any doubt from people's minds or any questions they may have about it, we've just opted for synthetic down um, alternative. And this is so close to down, it's got the same wispy areas in it that you'd get with down, and it traps even more warmth than the previous um, atom light. It's extremely warm, extremely soft. So as well as having been able to have big baffles and really warm, lofty jacket, you can also put this in um, a lighter weight padded jacket as well. And because, um, of its nature is extremely compressible so this jacket as an example just scrunches up not much bigger to the size of the hand and it will go in a stuff sack so it's perfect to put in your, in your rucksack or in your travel bag. So then the final bit of insulation I want to talk about is alpaca and this is our only piece of uh, natural insulation. This is a sheeted um, form of the, the alpaca's wool and it's very similar to warm loft, incredibly soft and as I mentioned with the synthetic uh, insulations, it keeps you warm even when it gets wet. But uh, a big benefit um, of, of the alpaca is that it's antimicrobial, so uh, it stops the odours forming. So, so we put this in our mountain collection padded jacket and um, because you're going to be doing more high intensity activities in this jacket, I like to sweat a little bit more, so it just keeps the odours down and combined with the anti-back treatment on the inside, that, that, that adds to that, um, that effect as well. It's one of my favourite jackets for 
going up walking in the, in the Lake District and stuff, which you might have seen in some of my other videos. So really good one for any active youth. That's just uh, an overview of the five different types of um, insulation. A lot of people just think a padded jacket um, is a padded jacket and they've all got the same types of filling, but they've all got different type depending on, um, I guess, the end use and what, or what you want from the jacket. So a common question that I always get is, which insulation is warmer? Okay, well that's a good question and it's a fair question, but it's a difficult one to answer because you have to take the same weight of one and compare it with the same weight of the other. And across our jackets, they've all got different fills and they've all got different weights. So um, if you took it uh, weight for weight, our new loose fill, feather-free insulation is the warmest. It's incredibly warm and the closest we do synthetic-wise to, to down. But if you were then to say take um, five times the weight of, of the feather-free of a thermoguard, then the thermoguard would be warmer naturally because there's a lot more of it, but you're gonna have a very, very bulky jacket. And as we mentioned earlier, it's all about warmth to weight ratio. So even though a massive thermoguard jacket will technically be warmer, you wouldn't be as comfortable and you wouldn't have the same freedom of movement. I think that covers everything. Thank you very much, Matt. If there's any questions, please leave them in the comment in the description and I'll try and get back and answer every single one. I do ask Matt as well for your answers. So hope you like the product. Any of the products that were mentioned will be in the video's description or they were linked during the actual video. So please give them a look if you're interested. So it's bye from me. Cheers, bye for me.